friends, it's Sujit Vag. You are watching Wikinote channel. Welcome to the Triple E question answer video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, we are going to explain about the question, explain the programming concepts in Arduino IDE software. This question can be asked for 6 marks. Now what is the expected answer of this solution? So there are 4 types of programming concepts in Arduino IDE. First is structure, then variables, functions and fourth one is the conditional statements. Conditional statements again gets divided into if, if else, for, while, do while. While the structure gets divided into two parts that is while setup and while loop. So just I would I will add this part over here. Now I am going to explain the each and every concept in detail and how to write or how to represent this in the exam paper. So let's start. Please do subscribe the YouTube channel Wikinote Foundation and click the bell icon to receive notifications of new uploaded videos. I will keep this page over here so that we will explain each and every part with the help of example. Firstly is the structure. So the structure is divided into two parts that is first is the wide setup and the second one is the wide loop. So what is the use of wide setup? This function is used to configure the hardware pins and to initialize the hardware pins I would say and it runs only once. initialization then white loop so this loop is always written for executing the code forever or infinitely I would say this loop will go on continuously execution while the white setup will execute only once single time if you look at the structure of the Arduino program it has only two structures white setup and white loop you have to initialize the code into the wide setup with the help of hardware pins and in the wide loop you have to write down the function to be executed so I can explain this with the help of LED interfacing program so in the LED interfacing program you might have seen about LED interfacing program so in that case suppose I am writing wide setup pin mode in bracket 5 comma output complete then wide loop in bracket digital write 5 comma high then call some delay and so significance of this is see here in the wide setup we have initialized the hardware pin number 5 has been configured as an output pin and in the wide loop pin we have made digital write pin 5 as high so continuously it will remain high after that it will we, we are provide the delay so after execution of delay here i can write digital write 5 comma low also so that it will be that pin will be low so whenever your program is framed it always frames into only two structures wide setup and wide loop in the arduino ide software the program of Arduino ID is called as sketch now second we are studying about variable so variable is a place to store a piece of data it has a name a value and a data type for example suppose I am writing int p equal to 13 so what is its meaning so here the pin name pin is acts as a variable name so that means it is a place variable name or place where you can store a piece of data so 13 is the data and that data i am storing into the variable name pin whose data type is int so here int acts as a data type this pin acts as a variable name or place and this 13 will act as a value so variable it is 
a place or a name which is used to store a data or value and which will have a certain data type. Now third programming concept which we are going to explain is functions. So what is the role of functions now? We have discussed about variables, now functions. So we will go with functions. So third programming concept is functions. Function is a block of code that has a name and a block of statements that are executed when function is called. For example, here I am writing type then name of the function that is the syntax. I am writing here syntax and the parameters which you are passing to that function and then certain statements are present in, into that function. So keep in mind function is a block of code that has means it can consist of number of statement that has a block of statement that are executed when that particular function is called. That function will have type suppose integer, character, it will have some name and what value you are passing. I would like to explain this with the help of example. In the example see here suppose I am I have called certain function and the function name is suppose delay, delay 2000. So in the main program I am, I am calling delay function. So for execution of this delay function, we will we have called this function. So we will go for the execution of this delay function. Suppose its type is int delay and what parameters we are passing to this int? We are passing some value to this and that is 2000 value. So here it will perform that execute that delay function. So that is the significance of function concept in Arduino ID. And the last but not the least and very important that is conditional statements. Maybe in the exam separate question can be framed on the, on to the con write down the conditional statements of programming concept of Arduino ID because conditional statements has different types. So what are the different types such as suppose first is if so in this case of if statement what will happen so i will explain this with the help of example if statement ha test whether a certain condition has been reached or not so for example see here if some variable it may be uh, a greater than sign or it may be a less than sign and we have to compare this with the some value and we have to perform some action. So I will write here do something. So these are the nothing but the block of statement. If that condition has been reached then do something. Similarly if you compare this with the next that is if else statement then if in case of if else statement if just I will rub this part that is second point from the conditional statement so second part if else statement in this case of if else statement again he will going to check that particular value then perform or do something A and else else do something B that means there is different task allotted to each and every statement first if and second one is else this statement actually provides you either or decision to be made and now third conditional statement type that is for statement what is use of for statement this for statement is very useful for executing a block of statements for specified number of times suppose I am taking here example for in bracket int i equal to 0 i greater than 20 sorry i would take here i will i take less than 20 i plus plus so what will happen in this case suppose certain statements are present over here so this loop will be executed for 20 times it will run from i equal to 0 it will perform that block up statement it will come over here again the value of i will be incremented it will be checked with the value whether it is less than 20 if yes increment it by 1 sorry see how to how this for loop executes initially what is value of i that is 0 
so it will enter into the loop will execute that statement now at the end of this loop it is shown by the curly bracket like this at the end of loop the value of i will be incremented by 1 that i will become 1 now it will compare it with the final value that is 20 if it is less than 20 then again it will go for the execution of this loop similarly this step goes on repeating for 20 times that means this block of statement will be executed for 20 times next statement is while statement so that is our fourth statement so what happens in case of while statement so i will explain this again with the help of one example this statement will loop con continuously and infinitely so suppose example while some variable again it will check for the condition such as suppose I have written less than 200 so it will perform the task do something bracket complete so this example will test whether some variable is less than 200 and if true execute the statement so that is the use of this while loop now the last is do while so in this loop your condition is checked first and then it will perform the task if the condition is true but in case of do while loop that is the fifth conditional statement i will write here do while so what happens in case of do while statement it is same as that of your while loop but just do then here i will write something and at the end it will check the while condition while variable is less than 200 so now if you compare this with the previous statement the meaning of this statement is first it will perform the task then it will check for the condition that means task will be executed first then it will check the condition but in the while loop first it will check the condition then it will perform the task so this can this question may be asked for six marks in the exam or separate question on conditional statements of programming concepts in Arduino IDU can be asked. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more such videos. Please like and share this video with your friends. Also refer my website wikinote.org. Follow us on our Facebook page Wikinote Foundation. The links for the same are provided in the description box below.